Hi everybody, welcome to Carolyn Braden's Turning the Ordinary into the Extraordinary. And today, I'm not going to do the whole project right here on camera, I just wanted to show you a couple of new ideas that I just came up with. Um, over the summer, I really wanted to go roller skating, and looking up on eBay and online, some of the roller skates were really, really expensive. So I was like, how can I pull this off without it being too expensive? I went, well actually my husband went to a thrift store and found some roller skates, some maybe 1980s roller skates, and they looked kind of like this, but they weren't like this beforehand. They were white and um, uh, maybe a little bit of a darker pink color, and I Lysoled them up, cleaned them up really, really good, and I went onto this website called shoehardware.com and found this shoe spray paint. And um, somebody told me about this too, so I didn't just come up with this on my own, but someone told me about this and I've never heard of shoe spray before. I've heard of spray paint, but not shoe spray. So I went on to shoehardware.com and found shoe spray paint. And while I was there, I found glitter that can be used for shoes. And I also found these other shoe paints, which are acrylic leather paints by Angelus is the brand of these. And the brand of this is Melatonin. So what I did is after cleaning these up, I put newspaper all around the wheels and masking tape all around the white part of the roller skate. Then I used um, the pink spray paint and before these laces and things were in it, taped everything up. Anything that I didn't want the paint to touch, I bound up with a little bit of masking tape and newspaper. In a well ventilated area, I took the shoe spray paint and I sprayed them down with one coat, then let that dry for a few hours, and then I sprayed it down again, and they were about ready at that point. I even sprayed this um, stopper right here to make it match the shoe, and then um, from shoehardware.com, I also bought some shoelaces. Then after it was all spray painted up, I took this binder medium by Chromacryl and I put with an old paintbrush anywhere where I wanted it to be glitter, I put a little bit of the, the glue, this Chromacryl binder medium, and then with another paintbrush, a dry paintbrush, put a little bit of this in my little tray here, dip this in here and put this on, the glitter on. And I sealed it off with a little bit more of the binder medium. Let them dry, laced them up, they were ready to go. I tested them out this weekend and I had quite a few looks at my new roller skates and I think they turned out pretty good. So that is one project. Another project is I remember having Adidas Sambas when I was in the eighth grade and loved them. They were just black and white then and I thought, hey, this time around maybe I can make them look a little bit different. So from shoehardware.com I bought some leather paints poured them in this little tray here and took a paintbrush and carefully painted the stripes which were white. I painted the back here. It took about 10 coats of this shoe leather paint to get it just right. I wanted a certain look so I just kept brushing it on, brushing it on, letting it dry in between each coat and voila I had my very special shoes and then I also ordered these shoelaces and I ordered extra shoelaces just in case I wanted to change the colors. Very inexpensive expensive project and you get an awesome pair of shoes out of it for virtually no cost at all. These shoes were only about $40. These roller skates were only about $1.99. With everything all together, it didn't cost hardly anything to have one-of-a-kind shoes and really, really simple. New ideas, new shoes. So I hope you try this at home and email me if you have any questions at all. And remember, shoehardware.com. I'm not a spokesperson for that website, but I really enjoyed being able to go online and find the exact colors I wanted and ordered them and they showed up at my doorstep and I got new shoes out of it. Oh, and by the way, you can get this in any color you want and it is awesome to use. Thanks so much and thanks for watching. Oh, you can also use this to spray purses. If you have a purse that you want to change the color, you can use this stuff to do up purses. Anything leather, anything plastic. This here says plastic vinyl and leather and this is leather shoe paint. So good luck. Email me any questions if you have them. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.